Hey guys, back with another quick video. This time I'm just testing the autofocus performance in video mode between the Nikon Z6 and the Nikon D850. Now in video mode, the D6 kills the D850, you know, in live view mode. But in still mode, there's no contest. The D850's autofocus is much quicker, also in low light, than it is on the D or the Z6 for stills. But for video, the Z, that's where the Z6 actually comes into its own. So yeah, my conclusion owning both these cameras is if you're going to do a lot of still photography and you need the highest resolution and the fastest, most precise autofocus, the D850 still rules for that. But if you want good video performance and the phase detect autofocus for video movies, the Z series is definitely the way to go. Either Z6 or Z7 still is going to be better than the D850 in video mode. Just because of the PDAF for the phase detect autofocus. But the Z6 is probably going to be better for video than even the Z7 just because of the full pixel readout. All right, guys, here's some samples I'll show you really quick, just, you know, demonstrating both these lenses. So that's a 3518. I put them at the same aperture. I put the 24 to 70 at 35 millimeter just to kind of make it fair. I know the minimum focus distance is going to be a little bit different. So I try to compare it as fairly as I can in that sense. And um, I'll do some real world outdoor stuff, but this is under good lighting conditions, just you know, close close to medium distance, just to kind of show you how fast the autofocus is on the Z6 compared to the D850 in movie live view mode. That is. All right, guys. Hope you find this interesting, at least uh, useful, and I'll do some more tests, and I'll see you guys next time. So this is the D850 focusing with the 24 to 728 in real time here. So you can see it kind of hunts around a little bit. Actually, that might be too close. Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, Z6 in real time focusing. So as you can see, it does pretty good. It's pretty smooth. It's not as jerky. It doesn't hunt like the D850 does. So here's the 24 to 70 2 8 set to 35 millimeter at f 2.8 using the FTZ adapter. Let's see. So right away, you can hear more noise from the autofocus motor. So it still does a better job than the D850 autofocus, but using the FTZ adapter, you're not going to get the same autofocus performance as you would with the native lens mount of the Z mount. And they say that in the manual too, to be expected. So if you're adapting your lenses, you're not going to get your the full capability. I guess it stands the reason since you're using an adapter, right? It's not the native lens itself. 